the ring right now in the red trunks is Gore Manatsakani, and standing across from him is William Fisher. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three rounds at a catch weight of 130 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of four wins with four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 129 pounds. Fighting out of the Academy of Striking and Grappling, by way of Moreno Valley, California, William Fisher! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, standing five feet, eight inches, eight inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Filipino MMA, Makes his professional debut tonight here under the MMA Explosion Batter. Here is Gore Natsukanya! And with this fight begins, your referee in charge is Chris Tayoni. So just above the 120-pound flyweight division, we've got a 130-pound catchweight fight here. Gore Manatsakanian, William Fisher, two very different fighters. Will is coming into this much more experience. He's four and four, so he's got eight professional fights. This is the debut for Gore tonight. Very successful as an amateur, first pro fight tonight. I don't know how Will could have lost any weight. It doesn't look like he has any weight to cut on his body. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a small guy. But both these guys are. And one thing about lighter fighters, they're very quick on their feet. And you see both of them kind of feeling each other uh, out. And, and Gore immediately just jumps in, rushes, pulls guard. Will says, let's get up and do it. Ooh, nice Gore, and Gore tries a nice hip toss. Good scramble. You see, you see Will trying to turn in and get that single. Now he's sneaking out the back door. Gore's trying to snatch up that arm bar. I don't think he has it, though. And the referee's got to separate him. Reset the action. Frantic pace. Frantic pace when a guy cuts a lot of weight is never a good thing. That usually leads to you, you burning out early. And he doesn't have this. Gore doesn't have anything right there. Um. Nice punch from the bottom there. And Gore showing some really high level jujitsu. He's doing a good job with his transitions. I asked Gore before the fight what he predicted, a knockout or a KO, and he said, or a KO or a submission, he said both. Both, he's predicting both. He's gonna knock him out while he's subbing him. <laughs> That's a talented fighter. You know what though? Will did a great job of staying calm when he was on top. You see, he postured up right away. He got his arms out of danger and started punching. That's that, that's that eight fight experience. Curious to see how it's going to uh, affect Gore. You know, he, he really tried to um, sink in a uh, successful submission there early on in the first round. And when you're not able to do it, if you're a young fighter, sometimes you can give up a little bit mentally. Uh, it doesn't look like Gore's that type of guy, though. Very no nice, way. moves to the full mount, takes the back. Yes, very, very smooth transition. See, that's the second time in the fight he started the takedown off with a good hip toss, went straight to mount, transitioned to the taking his back, and now he's pounding away. Will's gotta do something. You see, he's just kinda tucking up right there. What he needs to be doing first off is hand fighting. There's no hand fighting going on right now. Gore should be able to choke him out. Gore needs to go for the choke. There's no, there's no, there's no attack on his hands right now. Will is doing nothing to fight hand fight right now, which gives Gore the ability to go ahead and slide that arm under. Talk about how, how well Gore is, is positioned on the back right now. It looks like he's got pretty solid back control. And, oh, and there, there it is. He sunk yeah. the arm under. He should sneak that arm up and go to go to the gable grip right now. You see him start softening him up. Let's see, pull that hand. He switches. I want to see him hit a figure four, and there it That's is. It. This is it. That's all she wrote. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Will's trying to fight it off, but it is a matter of moments before he just blacks out. And that's yeah, it. There he goes. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end. Gore Manatsakanian in his MMA debut as a professional walks away with his first victory tonight. Obviously elated. Good job, Gore Manatsakanian. You know, big ups to Will taking this fight on short notice. Yep. But when you're Gore and you come out as your pro debut and you take on a fighter with eight fights, four of them are wins with a couple knockouts and submissions, and you beat him, it does wonders for your confidence, man. Let's take a look at the replay here. This is the moment where he sinks that choke in. Okay, we lost that replay for just a moment, but we'll come back to it in just a second. Like you were saying, Joey, as 
he was setting up that choke. It was just a matter of time before that softening up worked. And right here is where you see the moment where he twists him over after a, a moment he's of softening slide, him up. He's going to start pounding. He slides that right arm through, then the left arm. Then he's going to roll over and switch sides. He's going to replace the other arm now. And there it is. So good. And Will did a good job of trying to fight it off. He struggled with it, but the referee right on top of the action. He knew it was just a matter of time. And the double-handed tap from Will signifying it was all over. And Gorman Atsukanian walking away with his first victory tonight. Great job by him. And he looked so experienced for his first fight as a professional. And as we've seen MMA evolve, I love to see that sort of thing in a debut. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Chris Ione has almost stopped at this line at 2 minutes and 41 seconds into the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a quick naked choke, Gore Batagania! Once again, as you said, big ups to, uh, to Will for taking the fight on short notice. He really had to fight to get down to that 130-pound mark. He made it there, but at the end of the day, uh, Gore's jiu-jitsu just looked great. Great job from Gore, great hip toss, good takedowns.